Wow. Okay, this is take two because I was supposed to be doing this on my camera, but the card is acting up. So what I did was I'm using the, my eyesight on my Mac. And I just recorded like a good seven or eight minute rant about these boxes, but it wasn't recording. But basically what it boils down to is this. I went down today because this is the first day that I could get back to get my last seven boxes. And people, the post office ain't worth shit. You know, my last seven boxes are all fucked up, but they took the cake this time. Now, I apologize right away because this is something I would be using my, my little camera, my small camera for instead of my eyesight because it's kind of hard to focus in on the stuff. But basically, oh boy, this is going to be difficult. Here are my boxes. Now, remember, these were brand new boxes. If you check my old video, these are brand new boxes. And these boxes look like they've been through World War II. You know, they're all dinged up and ripped up. And every last one of them is fucked up. And then you get to this box right here. It looks like they just stack all kinds of stuff on it and just cave the damn thing in. Look at it. It's all bulged out right there. And, you know, it's look at this. All screwed up. Okay. And then you go back here. You see this box right here? Now, something doesn't look like it belongs. Now, do it. Doesn't look do it. Does it? You know, you got all these nice U-Haul boxes, small U-Haul boxes. They say U-Haul on them. This, ladies and gentlemen, is not the box that I mailed. Now, with the with the envelope that they lost two of my hardcovers out of, apparently, you know, it ripped open. You know, this is this the the envelope was something that I bought from them. You know, this is not like I bought some crappy shit and then it, they it just got ripped up because it was cheap. This is something they they got, they gave me. And this is not my box. This should be in one of the U-Haul boxes, but it's in some nondescript box that they charge me extra money for because it's bigger. And the reason it's in here is because obviously the box that I sent it in, they fucked it up so bad that they had to replace the box. They replaced it with a shitty box too, and it's too big and I got charged for it. So now I already know I got to figure out the uh, <clears throat> if I had two or if I had three hardcovers in that uh, envelope. Now I got to figure out what the hell was in this box. And I don't know because up until the last minute I was switching stuff out. So who knows what they lost out of this box. <sighs> up. Oh, there you go. But, uh, you know, so because like here's the envelope. The envelope that got ripped to shreds. There was had three books in it. Now it has one in it. So I asked the guy, I'm like, when I told, when I saw the guy at the post office, I'm like, you know, that's not my box. You know, I didn't ship that box. You know, and I asked him, you know, you know, if I call the postal inspector, are they going to find my stuff? And he's like, no, I don't think they do that. Did you have, if you didn't have insurance on it, that nothing can be done. What kind of business is the United States Postal Service if you give them a box that's made for shipping like big, heavy crap? And it looks like, you know, they gave it to, you know, a brain dead 10 year old and a brain dead 10 year old said, decided, hey, I'm going to throw these boxes against the wall. That's not how that's not how you do business. Business is not done that way. The customer, the customer ain't always right, but the customer don't deserve to have his shit thrown up against the wall, ripped up, you know, spread out of who knows where. And then you're going to tell me you're not going to look for my stuff. So. I barely use the post office as it is because, you know, I'm, a, I'm, the, I'm of the email generation, so I don't send a lot of letters. You know, if I need checks sent somewhere, I get the bank to send the check out for me, you know. So, uh, from now on, I pretty much figured that maybe I'll go with UPS or FedEx or something. Maybe somebody who has respect for people's belongings and won't send it to them all fucked up and then say, well, you didn't get insurance. This, this, this is your job. This is what you do. You're supposed to, delete. people entrust you to send their stuff and, hey, get it, you know, not fucked up when it gets to the other end, you know? So, oh, so if I got insurance, are, are they going to buy me brand new books? It doesn't matter because you shouldn't fuck up people's shit to begin with.
So I'm a little stressed out right now about my box, the boxing situation, and this chick I know who just, pff, just she's, I don't know what the hell her, her problem is, but um, I'm, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put her to the side and not even think about her anymore because she is not worth my time. <laughs> but yeah, so I finally have all my boxes here, but I don't have all the items I sent, and I'm dreading. Trust me, look at those boxes; they're fucked up. I'm dreading opening those boxes and looking at my prized possessions. To be all screwed up. Because I know they're going to be. And it's going to hurt my feelings. It's, it's going to hurt. You know, I paid good, my good hard-earned money for this stuff. And it was in pristine condition. And it's not going to be when I open it up. I'm not fucking happy. 